Okay. The purpose of this video is to show you how to strip powder, strip powder coat off metal parts easily at home. I've got this bracket here that's broken. That I'm, I've got a weld. And I'm going to remove all the powder coat before I do that. And I'm going to show you a secret ingredient. People will tell you that you need to uh, have it sandblasted or you need to get it off with wet and dry and paint stripper won't get it off and which is true. Paint stripper doesn't really work very well on powder coat, but I use this CRC gasket stripper. And I'm going to show you now. I'm going to spray some onto a couple of these parts and show you what happens. As soon as I start to spray it on, here we go, look at that, starts to bubble up immediately, I'll give it another coat, Make another coat again, turn it over and coat both sides. The gasket stripper is basically paint stripper on steroids and I'm not sure if you can see that now but that's starting to bubble there you go I use this stuff all the time on powder coat okay I've left it for a few minutes with the gasket stripper on it and as you can see this here look it's bubbling off and coming off in great big chunks. It's only been on there for about two minutes. And look at that. I can just pull all that off. Okay. Make sure you wear gloves when you do this. Because it's very caustic, this stuff. Okay. Um, the rest of it, I need, to, I need two hands. Because I'm going to just use my stiff brush over there that I have. To get to get the rest of it off but you'll find that with, with this gasket stripper and a stiff brush that stuff will be off in no time there's probably other brands of gasket stripper that work just as well but, but I just use the CRC because it's just the one I've always used and I've, I've always um, never had any trouble with it and it just seems to work and see that as, as we look as we're standing here that's all bubbling and just peeling off Get the stiff brush in a bucket of water right we'll have that off in no time okay this is what it looks like so that that's only that's only plastic bristle that's reasonably stiff but it's not and this is what that piece looks like after just a little going over with the plastic bristle brush after spraying the gasket stripper on it and as you can see I haven't used any abrasive on that there's a few little tiny bits there that I can will often come off with a second spray or with a, with, with a paint scraper they'll come off very easy and you'll have that all off in no time and you can see see this bubbling on the other half of the bracket I just sprayed that just while while I was brushing this off in the bucket of water and you can see it's only been maybe two or three minutes and you can see the bubbling on that so as you can see you don't need to take your parts and get them sandblasted you don't need to sit there for hours with the um, wet and dry just get some gasket stripper okay so here here's what they look like only only about 10 minutes or so after I started the job first started videoing okay there's not even no traces of powder coat on anywhere on these and I haven't used anything on it more abrasive than a wire brush I started off with the plastic brush and it got 90% of it off but there was just a couple of little little hard bits in corners and that where I had to get the wire brush onto it but basically you can see just by using CRC gasket stripper 
or any other brand as I said before may work just as well or even better I don't know but I've just always used CRC and which I also should add the warning that if you're ever using gasket stripper to strip gaskets make sure you don't get any overspray on painted or powder coated surfaces otherwise you're going to regret it and you're going to have paint bubbling and peeling all over the place anyway thanks for watching the video